Okay. What's up? What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Wife Like Me podcast. We are pumped. Every week we're here to bring encouragement and growth to your faith and marriage. And my name is Amanda Davison. I'm the founder of A Wife Like Me. And we are with Kelly Brinkman, who is drinking something that looks like urine. If you are on YouTube. You it's not. It's iced green tea. I don't drink urine. <laughs> it looks disgusting. Well, it's but delicious and it's good for you. There you go. There you go. Good job, Kelly. I am drinking LaCroix. I don't really love LaCroix, but I do like these ones. These are, I don't know what, this Cerise Limon, maybe? I don't know. Whatever, dude. It looks mm -hmm. like cherry lime. Cherry lime. Right. And it's delicious. Anyway, we've got a special episode today. It's kind of going to be different. Just kind of different. Something fun. We're going to share our own. We each came up with a list. We don't know what is on each other's list. And we're sharing our own like wife hacks, like tips for you on like little things that we do to, I don't know, make life a little easier, maybe. And so that's what we're going to do today. I'm so pumped. Right. Remember, you can find Kelly in the show notes as well. We link to her in every show. So you can go check out all of her amazing artwork for the holidays. It's coming up. Go check it out. You can order online. She ships it to you. It's beautiful. Um, she also speaks and writes. So go check her out. But yay, let's talk about our fun hacks. What is one of yours, Kelly? Oh, no. You go first, dear. Oh, all right, hacks. oh yeah. You know why? <laughs> Because I know I'm more type A than you, and you're going to totally laugh at mine. So you go ahead. <laughs> okay. I know, and you're going to laugh at mine. Because so I was laughing. We didn't know what we were putting on our list, but I was laughing the whole time. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so funny. Here's, okay, my number, one of my hacks. And yeah, she's showing me, if you're watching on YouTube, she has her, she brought her own fiddle leaf in here. Because last week, I had my, my fiddle leaf is in the background, and it's not happy. But right. she's going to get happy, right? Still but, not happy. Have you named her yet? No. Okay. Maybe, no, because no one's given me ideas. So maybe someone will give me an idea. Email maybe me. Maybe Fiona the fiddle. Yeah. yeah. Comment on the on the podcast episode or send us an email. Um, so mine looks healthy and dusty because this girl, she's fake as the day is long. And, and that's why it looks good. Although clearly now in this light, she needs to be dusted. It does not. She does not look good. I'm not going to lie. See, this is how different we are. No, she looks great. Look at that. Especially from a distance. Like probably further back. Looks better. It's dead. It's not real. Um, okay. But I do love it. I do love it. I bet you can't tell in your house. It looks. Underneath, it's not as dusty. Yeah. Yeah. So this so is how different we are. Go ahead. I know. I know. I love it. Okay. So my, one of my hacks, which is really important, you guys, trust me, buy hats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just here's the deal. You have to have hats because you don't have to get ready. You can okay. just put your hat on. What? Okay. When it's summer, spring, summer, you have your baseball cap. Okay, Carhartt has some cute women's hats. I have one in the other room. I should have grabbed it. all my hats. Oh, my land. I should go grab them. But maybe at the end, I'll go grab them or something. Okay, wear that cap. You can just put your hair in a little braid. If you're like, oh, hats are a little cute on me. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. You just got to own it. It's like, if you think you look cute in the hat, you're cute in the hat, period. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So then in the fall and winter... You get yourself some Carhartt winter hats. Really cheap. They're like 12 bucks. Okay. Get them. I get them. You, you put that sucker on. You don't have to wash your hair. Ain't nobody gonna know. Okay. If you have to work or something, you can just put your hair back. And then when you get home or you have to go to the game or the activity, just put the hat on. Nobody's gonna know. It's the best. Okay. That's my, one of my hacks. Your turn. My hack is get completely dressed in the morning. <laughs> First thing when you get up. What? Like don't mess around and get halfway dressed. No, just go ahead. Whole outfit. If you wear makeup, put that on, do the hair. We're ready. 
ready to hit the day. And my second hack is make you some dry shampoo so you don't have to wear hats. Because get yourself some dry, right? Get yourself some dry shampoo. Get, like, buy make, some. make yourself some dry shampoo. That sounds like a lot of work. What do you do, Kelly, to make it? Oh, you've told us this. I can't remember. Oh, I know. It's like cornstarch and cocoa and you could eat it and like essential oils or something. But I, um, I do own some hats, but I don't know. They're always, they're not my go-to. I'm going to try to take you up on it though, because it sounds free. You know, I could have a day without dry shampoo and oh. just drop on a hat. Many days, friend. Many. <laughs> you have got to watch this on YouTube. If you're not already following us there, jump on over because Amanda's hysterical today and her plant looks terrible. And I'm drinking <laughs> urine. You're missing everything today. Um, what was your first hack though? Because it reminded me of something funny. Get dressed completely. Oh, oh yeah. When you said, when you wake up in the morning, get and I thought you were going to say something else. I was like, oh. Kelly, what? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Get dressed. <laughs> Get completely. <sighs> anyway. Okay. Next tip. Um, <laughs> go. This is important. This is important. You're going to thank me. Are you ready? Okay. Just go to Dairy Queen. Oh, right. Right. No, I'm serious. This is, I'm not joking. Everyone will be happy. Right. Next. Next. Yep, exactly. That's totally it. And my food hacks are to, I actually have a food hack next. Oh, do you? Okay. Um, a friend of mine taught me years ago, always have a cheese ball in the freezer. I was like, what? That sounds a little too like old school, like hospitality wise, but darn it. If the girl didn't tap into some wisdom there, have a cheese ball ready, meaning like always have something ready that if a guest stops over or your husband comes home early, or if you're like, we're going to do appetizers before dinner, you got something ready to go. Like we have edamame in the freezer because it's easy to like steam those up, throw a whole bunch of salt on them. Everybody's happy. No one's in the kitchen with me while I'm cooking. Mm. So I also like to pre-feed the husband before we go on a date. Mark has a metabolism, bless, needs to eat every two, three hours, okay? If he starts shutting down and he's not talking, I'm like, oh, calories, you need food. Jeez. And so before we go on a date, I often pre-feed him. I'm like, hey, Mark, would you like these uh, mushrooms, like stuffed mushrooms or whatever that I got from the store? I didn't put those together. Uh, here you go. Have two, three of those before we go. Cause then he is much more able to engage in conversation because he's had some calories until his next feeding, if you will. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So the cheese ball, cheese ball. That's good. That's good. I don't like cheese. Question though. Does the cheese have to thaw before people come or like, yeah. if you have like unexpected visitors, oh, it has to thaw. Like It's kind of a metaphor, like have something ready in case you need to like put something out just to help people feel welcome. And you know, mm -hmm. like, like, so like, like a box of dilly bars. Yes. A box of dilly bars <laughs> could, could work. Yep. You yep. don't have to thaw them. Hello. Mm -hmm. Boom. Mm -hmm. Ready right now. Right. We celebrate like dilly bar day is like a holiday. If it's Tuesday, and I'm like, you know what? I have a hankering for dilly bars. I You can even hit those in the drive-thru and they give them to you in a box. Oh, yeah, you can get And then you just like bring good cheer wherever you go, right. sharing a dilly bar. Right. Right. Or not and eating them yourself. It's fine. <laughs> no okay. judgment here. Right. Right. Never. Okay. Next hack. Okay. Again, these are all very important. <laughs> You're laughing already and I haven't even said anything. I <laughs> this is important. I'm telling you, this will change your life. Okay? Take a daily bath. I'm just saying, if you're like, gross, ew, I don't like to soak in my own nastiness, like some people say. Um, just try it. Put some, put just, just try it. I usually run the bath while my kids, because, okay, it's farm season right now. You're watching. This is in the fall. My husband's gone all the time, ever, all the ever living day long. And so I have to figure out how I'm going to do things. So while the kids are getting ready for bed, I draw my bath. Then I take a bath while they're like 
in bed starting to read, I'll make, I'll have them make them, I will make them read for like 15 minutes while I'm in the bathtub and then I'll come out and put them to bed. And then we're all relaxed at the same time kind of thing. So just draw a bath. I'm telling you, it is so helpful. Next. Okay. Next. Yeah. Yeah. That is a good one. I should consider that. Our bath is a little narrow. So I Ours feel as so. though I feel it as though it's like a grain bin I'm sitting in. And so I'd like it to be a little a little wider, but I'll listen to you. Whoever designed a bathtub is not a woman and not like thinking through anything because the ba- the design of a bathtub is ridiculous. I'm so like every time I'm in there I'm like I don't know why they built it like that. I don't know why it's designed like this. It's so frustrating. It doesn't stop me but it's frustrating. Yeah, we spent our uh home reno money on the laundry room recently to house the Cheerios for Mark. So I've got no money left over for that bathroom right now. No. <laughs> so no. Off to soak in that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um one of my hacks is to use all the calendars. Okay. Go ahead. Use your, your phone calendar. In fact, I have a little guide as to all of the colors and what they coordinate with and what they mean. And then I use a calendar in my bathroom that tracks different things. Like when I work out, I get a sticker, you know, a smiley face, like kids get stickers, right? I should get one. So I try to have more stickers than not. Okay. I track some other things on there as well. And then uh, I have a different calendar. This is one from my kitchen here today. This was, uh, you know, me as a little girl and uh, the the 70s, 80s, they were alive. I'm the one in red. Cute. And uh, this little Halloween treasure for you. But this is a calendar I designed and it has, it's a perpetual calendar. So you can put people's birthdays on it. And is today the, oh, yesterday was the anniversary of when Mark got baptized. So I put like birthdays, anniversaries on it. Of course, it's like a given. But I have other things like our anniversary, you know, when we got our van. And so that we. (laughs) When we got our van, so that way we celebrate that. I mean, people make up holidays all the time. It's like National Daughter Day, Sunday, whatever. Anniversary day. I thought I heard you wrong, and then you really did say vaniversary. Oh, my land. Absolutely. And that way we celebrate things in our family that mean something to us, and they also help us to be thankful. Like, I have when our kitchen table was delivered. You know, because wow. we had it made from wood and stuff. Oh, yeah. The anniversary, June 10th. Okay. Don't call me that day because we're going to be cruising around. We do usually hit the Dairy Queen. We cruise around town, get some ice cream. Uh, we definitely give that van a bath. Sometimes, you know, clean out the inside as well. Take out all the stuff that shouldn't be in there anymore. Cruise around town, listening to tunes. This year we made shirts for the anniversary. So it's it's quite the deal, but um, the perpetual calendar will get you there. Or like I've had friends that have walked through some tough seasons, like a friend who um, walked through breast cancer and there was a day that she was diagnosed and then there was a day that she was fully healed. And so I have those on there. So oftentimes I'll use that as a prompt to then text her or reach out and people go, oh my gosh, you're so thoughtful. I'm like, no, nah, man, I got it. I got it written down here. I'm just letting you know that like, I celebrate those things along with you because you're my friend. So it's not that I'm thoughtful. It's just that I can write. So you not only care about people, you care about a van. I just love that. I love it. Well, it it makes it fun, you know, it's fun. So I have this on um, my website too. I know you, you always promote that and, and my artwork and that, but it's called the perpetual gratitude calendar. So if you want one, or if you're like, I always forget, whatever, get you a calendar. And as long as you can write, you can do that. That's so cool. I love that so much. Thank you for that. Okay. This is important. Um, They're all important. Okay. But here's, here's six words that have helped me a lot. (laughs) 
They are. It's very, I'm being serious. I'm being serious, okay. but you're going to laugh at what they are. Okay. I don't know. Whatever you think. Those are those six words. Is that six? Okay. Yes. I don't know. Whatever you think. Okay. I don't know. Whatever you think. Very helpful. Deal. Very okay. helpful. Right. Kids, husband, friends, anybody. I don't know. Whatever you think. Yeah. Just real help. Mom. I say, Mom, can I go, can I go grab a blah, 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 blah? I don't know. Whatever you think. Just defer. 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 I knew the counselor and he was going to come out. There's our term of the day. <laughs> defer. Defer. Okay. <laughs> I defer um, so I, back to you. <laughs> right. Okay. So right I have one. Okay. And what? that is surprise me. So we're out at like a restaurant or whatever. And they're like, all right, may I take your order? I'm like, you know what? Surprise me. That's and often, bold. Oftentimes, Wait. like it'll get you to try new things, right? Right. Or if you go like somewhere and you're ordering a drink and they say, do you want this or that in it? I'm like, you know what? Surprise me. Mm. It kind of like throws them off guard a little bit. Yeah. And helps you to just try new things. Also, when I go order a drink, like a coffee or something, my kids think it's hysterical. I give a different name every time. (laughs) (laughs) Who's this drink for? Matilda. Right. Right. Uh, I was going with Fiona was my last one, but my kids think it's hysterical. And I didn't really realize that I hadn't told them that I do that Uh... until like we were at a Culver's one day driving across Kansas. And, uh, they said a uh, name for the order. And I said like Fiona or something. And they turn and look at me and I go, yeah, it's Fiona. Thanks. And they walk away. Ma, ma, your name is not Fiona. I'm like, I know, but it's just like, it doesn't really matter. They're going to bring me this stuff anyway. And it's just kind of fun. You know, uh... it just, I think I got into it. Cause when you're traveling, like I don't really announce, Hey, my name is Kelly. I'm traveling alone. I just, it's one of those things that I've just kind of done to like, it doesn't really matter, but I don't need to be carrying around a coffee cup that says my name and whatever. So just change it up, you know, say, surprise me, give a different name, whatever comes to mind first. I was Rachel a couple weeks ago, (laughs) whatever comes to you. Do you ever, do you ever tell Mark surprise me? Uh, Not. (laughs) (laughs) not gonna go there with you but (laughs) nice how about you do you (laughs) i was like i wonder if she's gonna get it oh i always know you're like so free with like i don't know surprise me so it's like oh i wonder anyway okay that's a solid no comment (laughs) yeah (laughs) Okay, did you ever... Oh, yeah, that was your tip. No, you haven't shared your tip. I shared surprise me. Did you add that to your list or was it already on there? Uh, No, surprise me. Um, What else was the other one? Oh, give a different name. That was on my list. Oh, nice. I like that. They kind of fit together. Okay, here's another one. This is a good one. They're all good, but you guys, this is legit. Double your batches. So I, I mean... Hello. Whenever I'm trying to make some, I try Love to it. make a meal. Um, I usually try to just double it. I'm making it anyway, so I just double it and then put one in the freezer. I don't do it every time, but I try to when I when we have enough. I try to do that. I have learned this from you. So mm-hmm. I recently did that. I made like two soups yes. in two different crock pots. Okay, and I put some in the freezer intentionally. So thank great? you. Yeah, you're welcome. My other tip is get you a loner crock pot. Okay. Mm. So if you're like, oh, friend had a, you know, someone pass in her family or a new baby, or you just want to make her a meal, get you a loner crock pot. You can put your name on that. It's fine. But then you go to your grocery store, rip open a bag of chicken, frozen chicken, three pounds. It's fine. Pop the top of that salsa, lay that on there, show up to her house, be like, honey, 
here you go. Here's some tortillas, tortilla chips, cheese, shredded uh, lettuce, what have you. Can of beans if you want. Here you go, tacos. Make it happen. But the sh the uh, loner crock pot has saved me more times than not. Because then you can use it for a party, but then it's also used to just meet a friend's needs and you don't have to like overthink it and bake it. And did I buy the right tin to put it in to take it to her house and all that? Yeah, I like that. That's good. Um. Okay, my next one is... <laughs> Surprise me. You know what I'm realizing about my list? That there are all ways to like not have to do things. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're a hat. I'm such a bad person. No, I'm not at person. all. And there are ways that's not true because, like you said, take a daily bath. Like sometimes I think that's a chore and I wouldn't do that. But I'm going to rethink that because you've said, hey, that helps you relax. It's a part yeah. of your nighttime routine. It is, yes. So you're it's not a avoiding, girl. Okay. You're adding things that I wouldn't normally do. Okay. Okay. Well, here we go. Equip your kids to do it. <laughs> Equip your kids to do it. I okay, mean, what are we? What are we? A restaurant and a hotel? No. No. Like, if your kids are able, they're and they're able to do very easy, like, simp like helpful things, even at a young age. Sorting the laundry. Finding matching socks and putting them together. Like, putting the dishes away. Oh my land, yeah. all these things, vacuuming, sweet. It is like I say all the time, like we're a team. We all make this place a disaster. So we all have to help make it not as much of a disaster. <laughs> Hello. Right. You know, so equip your kids, man. Equip your kids. I love it. I say it's empower them. And I always say that we're a team too. Yeah, there you go. Right. So I was just listening to a Carrie Newhoff podcast I think yesterday or the day before about one of the guests he had on he his dad equipped and empowered him to at seven years old his dad came to him and said this is your job your job is going to be to ensure our lawn is green and clean however you want to do that is completely up to you and so he talked about the process of like the first couple weeks like He's like, dad, I don't, I don't know. And he's like, I'll come alongside once in a while. I'll take a look and see if you have any questions or anything, you know, you'd like me to whatever help with. But, um, anyway, so he came along and first didn't go well. He's like, dad, I just can't get this right. And, um, eventually he's like, well, you just let me know, like, if you have any questions or whatever, however you want to make it green and clean. Right. And at one point then he, the little boy, he came to his dad and he's like, dad, would, um, could you help me? Uh, I think it was like, take this, these seeds, like fertilizer that was in the garage and like go and dump them over there. I'm going to do something else. Can you do that while I, he's like, yep, I can absolutely help with that. So he like led his kids into leading up over a project. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh my land, now my mind is spinning on that in our home. Like how can I empower our kids and equip them to um, oversee an area and succeed in that or not, and then learn from it, right? They're going to succeed no matter what, because they're going to learn from it. But um, right. anyway, I just thought that was so cool. So equip, empower your kids to do it, to do right. things that you feel probably overwhelmed by. I love that. It also benefited Mark and I that we have taught the kids to cook a couple meals. This week, we were so sick with the stomach flu. I was like, Mark went and picked him up from school and brought him home. And I was like, hey, guys, love you. We're both laying in down, laying down in here so we don't throw up anymore. So you're on your own. You know, like the rules are the same. We're physically here in the event of a fire. But um, I'm going to need you to cook dinner, too. And you know what? They totally rose to the challenge. That's and so then cool. they brought us things and did things for us that we do for them when they're ill. But they, like, took charge of the whole night. It was a real joy. That's so cool. Yeah. You should be sick more often, but not really be sick, you know? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm feeling that way right now, actually, now that you mention it. <laughs> I'm such a, oh my gosh. It's, anyway, okay. You're not so much, no, you're more empowering. You're a I'm very just, empowered. Maybe I'm, wise. maybe I'm just wise, you know? Right. You're a parent who likes to empower a lot. <laughs> yep. Like a lot. Yeah. Like, 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 like a lot, a lot. No, 
it's all good. It's for the parents like me that maybe do a little too much, you know, and I'm like, you're right. Yeah. So, but I was thinking like I could let them lead um, different projects around the house. So that's a good idea. My other hack is to do laundry often. You know, like it's not every day for us, but we do it often. In fact, I don't have like a lot of storage in our laundry room. Just those, you know, shelves for my Cheerios. But um, if I keep up with it, then it's not so overwhelming. And Mm -hmm. then on good days, I will wash it, dry it, and then put it away because it's only one load. And then it's a little bit more manageable because we've all had the living room full of, you know, six loads of laundry. And then you just like hate life. Yeah. You have to put on a movie to fold that much. That's what I do every other day, I feel like. Oh, I mean, yeah. Chad and my clothes now because Chad's gone, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Um, I mean, he was here, but he farms, so whatever. Okay. Um, is it my turn? Yeah. Or is it? Okay. Okay. This is simple, but this is, this is helpful. Um, I meal plan, like I'll lay in bed and choose like the, the recipes I'm going to make in that week. Usually three. I only mm-hmm. make them like Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday because we have leftovers the next day. So we got to make enough for leftovers. Hello. Not cooking every day. Hmm. So <laughs> itchy. Uh, so I meal, I'll like pick out what I'm going to usually make on a Friday or Saturday. And then I'll add those into my Walmart pickup order to pick up on Sunday after church. So right after church on Sunday, we have what we need. Or if I'm going to be somewhere on Saturday, I'll get it Saturday. But yeah. um that's just helpful because then I know every, and I kind of, I get excited like, huh, what should I make this week? Like I, where I used to be like, oh, what am I going to make? Now I'm like, ooh, now I know we're getting groceries after church and I'll have everything I need for the week. That's been helpful. Love it. That's a great idea. I'm going to try that. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I like to do one thing for today and one thing for the future. Mm-hmm. So I'll do something today, you know, like schedule a doctor's appointment or something. And then one thing for the future, like friends of mine um, have kids that are about my, our kids. I had kids later in life. So a lot of my friends I grew up with have kids that are graduating high school. Bless. I'm 10 years behind. Okay. So mm-hmm. I learned from what they say and they're like, I'm going to kill myself with this whole graduation, open house thing, photos, whatnot. So I go, oh, I have the advantage of perspective because of them. So I go back and I've already ordered the picture frame of my kids, K through 12. I I ordered that like a couple weeks ago. And I went ahead and put in all the photos I have. Man, I'm missing like two years. My kids are only in like fourth grade. What have I been doing? I'm not sure. How are you going to get the pictures, P.S.? Well, I'm going to sort through my stuff in the storage room for one. Okay. 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 And then two, if not, it's by the same company. Okay. And so I've kind of mentally told myself, I'm going to fill those in by the end of January. So if I can't find those, then I'll probably go back to that company and say, Hey, do you have said picture? And it might cost more, but it's at least going to be physically possible right now versus in 10 years. And I go, Oh, great. Where is that? So. Wow. That's a good idea. That stuff. So something for today, something for tomorrow. Oh, that's like a downer because it's so helpful. But those things are, I'm going to be that mom that's like, what? But you're also really empowering. Like you could order those photo frames in, you know, click of a button, order them or pick them up at the store and then bring them home and tell your kids, hey, let's put your pictures in here. And your girls are old enough, you know, they'll find their pictures and put them in there. I mean, my kids are old enough. They do that and take yeah. ownership of that. I'm thinking of like all the pictures, like, you know how some people are so good about like chat books and like getting oh. all the pictures and yeah, printed off and stuff like from like their birth and all that. I'm like, dude, what? Yeah. I'm, I am not good at that. So good. No, you don't have to be good at that. Good I want to be, the- you know, I really want to be, I do. But why? Because I want to have pictures for them. Hmm. Do you use an app? There are some apps out there that you can just, you know, even Walmart. I know that you've professed your love of Walmart before. Has an app where you can just throw your photos to them. It's And then you go pick them up. It throws your phone number on it. Even if you forget to pick them up, they'll call you. 
And it's literally just doing it. Like I, I have, you know, yes, like snap. What is that? Snap photo or something like that. I don't know. Whatever. I, yeah. I, I just need to do it. I haven't done it. Anyway. Okay. Write it down right now. And we'll yeah. do it together. It's kids. So, okay. Yeah. Every episode, do we have anything fun or was this all fun? I think it was all fun today. It was all fun. It right. was so fun. So hug your fiddle leaf plant and Get whatever that is. Have one. Fake and or live. Okay. And tell us your hacks, ladies. Like we want to know your hacks. Message us, email us. If you can on whatever app you're listening to, your podcast platform or on YouTube, leave a comment. What are your hacks for everyone else that we can all help be awesome, more awesomer? in life at <laughs> right know? we need all sure your wife hack yeah. yeah so we love you thanks for being with us and we will be back next week for an all new episode bye everyone